Hey everybody, it's uh, Friday, uh, January 25th, 2013, approximately 16 months into the Cipro dream. My name is Colin Smythe. In September of 2011, I was prescribed Cipro for what they said was diverticulitis. I was actually just constipated and a bottle of magnesium citrate from the local drugstore probably would have cleared me out or enema uh, but they didn't want to do that they wanted to make Bayer rich and everyone else even richer from poisoning me for life uh, from that time I have sub subsequently gotten weaker and weaker and my joints have gotten worse and worse I now have to be careful just walking down to the corner to pick up my food um, the bottoms of my feet feel like they're about to tear my knees feel like they're about to give out I haven't actually ruptured anything but uh, you know it, I just I can tell how unstable everything is uh, I also had to get this You can see it. It came. Yeah. So I wanted to show you a sweatshirt. Yeah. You can go to saferpills.org and uh, I believe there's a link there to purchase some merchandise. Um, it says Quinlone Antibiotics. Do you know the risks? In other words, do you know their poison? Um, I'm going to tell you something personal here because uh, honestly uh, I don't really have any friends <laughs> they're all uh, in Virginia uh, and they they don't understand this condition and, and, and neither does my mom and neither does my sister and uh, neither does the lady that helps me out every week here nobody really understands this condition except for other people and maybe a few doctors. Um, uh, it's like cellular. It's like it's almost like it. It messes up your your cells. So certain people, you know, you take enough of it, it just messes up your cells to where they they just don't make good copies anymore. You know, they just keep making worse and worse copies. Um, so I wanted to tell you something personal. You know. Uh, I can still do that thing you do, you know, to pleasure yourself. You know. That hasn't broken yet. It it's about to, you know, but it still works. Um, uh, but uh, it causes a twitch down there, you know, after I do it, and it's really annoying, and it lasts for like a day. So I always tell myself stop doing it you know maybe I'll do it like once a month or something and I'm like just stop doing it you know but your brain is my brain is kinda wired to do it uh, as I never had a real girlfriend you know that's that's what I would do you know it was all coming until the Cipro you know got into me um, but when you do that your heart starts to beat really fast you get a lot of blood a lot of blood flows down there and I noticed when that happens your bowels also begin to I think work better and so I had to go to the bathroom afterwards and I actually had a good bowel movement afterwards so uh, there's something to blood and, and, and action in your bowels and, and uh, so I, I need to look into that and maybe maybe this uh, hot house that I have will help you know it generates infrared heat in that area maybe it will help with my bowel movements uh, there is no point to tonight's video um, I just uh, you know just still depressed and uh, very depressed and uh, would very much like to e exit this existence but it's all you got, you know. This is the only life you got. Um, so, you continue to suffer. Um, 
it's like you're in another world. You know, you're not in the real world. Uh, you are, but you you're not normal. You know, your body is it's like being a a, a mutant. You know, you, you just can't. You don't have normal human strength. You're you're a weakling, and 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 you're degenerating. Um, and I'm not exaggerating. You know, my everything about my body is degenerating. My my strength, my joints, my collagen is gone. All my puffiness in my face and my in my hands and everywhere. You see my veins everywhere, and the spasms continues. It's it's just um, it, you know it's it's a constant spasm too. It's not a spasm like you think of. Oh, I just got done working out and my arm is sore. It's a spasm like that never stops. Like some, somebody that has Parkinson's and their hand is always shaking. Well I've got that a little area in my pelvic floor that's just constantly going like that. And it's always going because I can I can't always like I don't always pay attention to it. I can't always feel it but anytime I contract my my uh, puborectalis muscle like uh, you contract when, at the, when you're done urinating and you contract to get that last bit of urine out whenever I do that every time I can feel it still going you know but uh, so that's that's a bummer you know I think I'll have that till the day I die unless by some miracle they can stop it well, I don't know who I'm saying when I, when I say they but uh, I wanted to show you also a few a few of the supplements that I have that I think are good, you know, that might help help you people out there, you know, I wanted to show them to you. Um, just the consensus that a lot of people say, you know, you got your coconut oil here, which is supposed to be good. Uh, I've got these four salts, which are alkaline salts, because your body's supposed to be alkaline to get rid of bacteria, um, and it's just healthier, you know. Say cancer cells can't survive in an alkaline environment, but I don't have cancer. Um, so you got your uh, fish oil, and it says product of Nor Norwegian fjords. So that's important. It comes from Norway, which means they don't, you know, put a bunch of poison in it. Um, Finest fish oil from deep, cold ocean water. So, make sure your fish oil, because I've heard of people having bad reactions to fish oil. And then you got, I got all kinds of teas. You can get traditional medicinals that, uh, you know, those are good. And, uh, for vitamin C, you got this vitamin C powder. This is the best powder, I think. Uh, but uh, I also have uh, I have this this Blendtec blender. It's a really good blender, three hundred dollar blender. And uh, I got this Colon Care formula, uh, GI Fortify, organic rice protein powder, Manuka honey. I've got magnesium citrate, primal defense probiotics. I've got Lyme recovery pills. I got PQQ caps. I've got uh, alkaline drops for the water. I've got iodine. I've got uh, almond butter. I've got apple cider vinegar, the mother. I've got colloidal silver. I've got spices that are supposed to be high in magnesium. I've got natto kinase. I've got Garden of Life vitamin code pills. I've got NT factor, supposed to help with your mitochondria. Uh, I've got Wobenzyme M. I've got joint and cartilage formula. I've got liver rescue, arginine. I've got superfood. I've got uh, seaweed. I've got clay detox. I've got avocado oil, coconut oil. Uh, and the fish oil. I've got ionic magnesium. I've got a pharmacy of healthy stuff. Uh, I'm still going downhill. So it shows you the power of of the fluoroquinolones, what they can do to you. That all these supplements, and I'm not getting any healthier, even with the with the raw smoothies, which I'm going to try to stick to, uh, the whole food smoothies. 